Could the rise of AI be the catalyst for implementing universal basic income? This question takes us into the heart of a fascinating discussion. With the relentless march of technology, artificial intelligence or AI is increasingly influencing various sectors. From healthcare to manufacturing, from retail to education, AI is transforming the way we live and work. This evolution is not without its challenges. Traditional employment models, for instance, are on the verge of a seismic shift. AI has the potential to disrupt job markets, automating tasks that were once the domain of humans. The ripple effects of this change are far-reaching, potentially reshaping economic structures and societal norms. But what if there was a way to cushion the impact? What if we could turn this disruption into an opportunity? That's where the concept of Universal Basic Income, or UBI, comes in. But before we delve deeper, let's first explore the economic impact of AI. Join us as we chart the course of this fascinating journey. AI holds the potential to transform industries. This isn't a futuristic prediction, it's happening right now. From manufacturing to healthcare, AI is streamlining processes, optimizing efficiency, and even creating new jobs. But it's also rendering some roles obsolete, leading to a shift in the labor market that can cause job displacement. This brings us to the concept of economic singularity, a point in the near future where AI could surpass human intelligence in most economically productive activities. Picture a world where AI systems manage supply chains, diagnose diseases and even compose music better than we can. It's a world where human labor might not be the most cost-effective or efficient option for many roles. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean a jobless dystopia. History shows us that technology often creates as many jobs as it displaces. But these new jobs may require skills that the displaced workers don't have, leading to an economic divide. Moreover, as AI continues to evolve, it could generate immense wealth by increasing productivity and reducing costs. But without the right systems in place, this wealth may end up concentrated in the hands of a few, widening the gap between the rich and the poor. But what if there was a way to ensure everyone benefits from this AI revolution? This is where the idea of universal basic income enters the discussion. But before we delve into that, let's first understand what exactly UBI is. Enter universal basic income or UBI. So what exactly is this concept? In the simplest terms, universal basic income is a model for providing all citizens of a country or region with a given sum of money, regardless of their income, resources or employment status. The primary objective of this system is to ensure that every individual has the means to meet their basic needs such as food, shelter and healthcare. The idea of UBI is not a new one. In fact, it has been experimented with and discussed in various forms throughout history. For instance, in the late 18th century, philosopher and revolutionary Thomas Paine proposed a form of basic income as a way to mitigate the negative impacts of industrialization. Fast forward to today and we see ongoing discussions and trials of UBI in countries around the world, from Finland to Namibia, each with their own unique approach and objectives. But why is universal basic income coming back into the spotlight now? Well, one major factor is the rise of technologies like artificial intelligence, which have the potential to drastically transform our economies and employment landscapes. With AI potentially leading to job displacement on one hand and creating new unforeseen opportunities on the other, there's a growing argument that a system like UBI could provide a safety net for those affected by these shifts. UBI could potentially be a solution to mitigate the economic impacts of AI. How exactly can UBI help in an AI-driven world? This question is at the heart of our discussion today. As we navigate the uncharted waters of AI and its impact on our economies, the concept of universal basic income, or UBI, presents itself as a potential lifeboat. In a world where AI is transforming industries and potentially displacing jobs, UBI could act as a safety net for those adversely affected. By ensuring a basic income for all, we could alleviate the financial stress and uncertainty that comes with job displacement. But the potential benefits of UBI extend beyond just providing a safety net. It could also be a tool for reducing economic inequality, 
By giving everyone the same basic income, we could help level the playing field and ensure that everyone, regardless of their background or circumstances, has the means to meet their basic needs. Furthermore, UBI could foster innovation and creativity. With a guaranteed income, individuals would have the freedom to pursue their passions, take entrepreneurial risks, and contribute to society in new and meaningful ways. This could lead to a more vibrant and diverse economy, better equipped to adapt to the rapid changes brought about by AI. In essence, UBI could help us navigate the challenges of an AI-driven world, ensuring that no one is left behind in this technological revolution. However, UBI is not without its critics. Despite its potential benefits, UBI has faced substantial criticism. One of the most common critiques is the question of economic feasibility. Critics argue that providing every citizen with a basic income could lead to astronomical costs that might strain public finances. They fear that this could result in increased taxes or cuts to other vital public services. Another concern is the potential disincentive to work. Some worry that if people receive a guaranteed income, they may choose not to work at all, leading to a decrease in productivity and economic growth. This argument is rooted in the belief that work is not just about income, but also about contributing to society and personal fulfillment. The third criticism is about the impact on inflation. Detractors suggest that pumping money into the economy could lead to an increase in the price of goods and services, negating the benefits of the basic income for the recipients. However, it's important to remember that these are potential challenges, not definitive outcomes. Moreover, proponents of UBI argue that the rise of AI could provide solutions to these issues. They believe that the wealth generated by AI could offset the costs of UBI, while also providing new opportunities for people to engage in meaningful work beyond traditional employment. Yet some argue that AI's economic contributions could help overcome these challenges. Let's take a look at some real-world experiments. From Alaska's Permanent Fund Dividend, which has been providing residents with a share of oil revenues since the 1980s, to the recent two-year trial in Finland, where 2,000 unemployed citizens received a monthly stipend, we've seen various forms of UBI tested around the globe. In Ontario, Canada, a three-year experiment was launched in 2017, providing income to low-wage workers and the unemployed. Although it was cut short, initial reports indicated positive impacts on health, education and social participation. Across the Pacific, in the town of Dauphin, Manitoba, a Mincom program in the 1970s virtually eliminated poverty. Meanwhile, tech-driven Silicon Valley has also taken an interest in UBI, with Y Combinator conducting a UBI trial in Oakland, California. Although these experiments differ in their execution and scope, they all offer intriguing insights into the potential future of UBI. These experiments provide valuable insights into the potential future of UBI. So, what does the future hold for AI, employment and UBI? As we stand on the brink of an AI revolution, it's crucial to contemplate this. Imagine a future where AI technology is so advanced that it surpasses human intelligence in most economic activities. This could lead to substantial job displacement, but it could also usher in a new era of job creation with roles we can't even conceive of today. In this landscape, universal basic income could play a pivotal role. It could act as a safety net for those displaced by AI, ensuring everyone has a basic level of income regardless of their employment status. Furthermore, UBI could also foster creativity and innovation as individuals freed from the burden of financial survival could pursue their passions, start new businesses, or even contribute to the development of AI itself. It is clear that the relationship between AI and UBI is complex and multifaceted. In conclusion, the rise of AI could indeed drive the adoption of UBI. The transformative potential of AI on the economy is undeniable. It could reshape industries, creating new jobs while displacing others, potentially leading us to a point of economic singularity. 
In this brave new world, universal basic income could serve as a buffer, a safety net for individuals whose jobs have been made redundant by AI. The idea of UBI isn't without its critics, but then again, no major societal shift ever is. Concerns about economic feasibility, potential disincentives to work, and the impact on inflation are valid, but they also open up avenues for discussion, experimentation, and learning. As we've seen in various trials, UBI can have profound impacts on communities, and AI could play a key role in managing and distributing it efficiently. As we contemplate the future of work, the economy and society in the age of AI and potentially UBI, one thing is certain, change is coming. Is, thank you for joining us on this exploration of AI and UBI. We've delved deep into the potential impacts and implications of these two transformative concepts, and we hope you found the journey as enlightening as we have. If you enjoyed this video and want to continue learning with us, please give us a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Your insights and questions help us shape our content and keep the conversation going. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends, colleagues or anyone who might be interested in the intersection of AI and economic policy. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on our latest releases. We are constantly exploring new topics in the realm of AI, so if you want to delve deeper into this fascinating world, click on the video that's popping up on your screen right now. Keep the AI curiosity going and we'll see you in the next video.